You alright guys, Clinicality here, back bringing you another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Review. But before I get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of my subscribers. We have just hit 100 subs, and that's a really nice milestone to hit. So thank you for supporting the channel, helping me grow and get better as a creator. And I really do appreciate the support, so thank you ever so much guys. Back to the video now, and as you can see, we are reviewing the second inform, Adderies, from Athletic Bilbao. And this guy is on fire at the moment in the Liga BBVA. He has scored 25 goals in 25 games so far this season, which is absolutely incredible. And he picked himself this inform up after scoring two goals in their 5-2 win over Ibar. Now on screen is the team that we went with. It was a pretty nice team to use. I do really like this formation this year. Definitely recommend trying out the team. And now in terms of player instructions, we did change a couple this time. Seeing as he is a massive target man type striker, we decided to put that on him as the attacking runs to make him play as a target man, get in the box and get there for those headers. To help out with that, we also told him to stay central. We don't want him drifting out wide. Being the one putting the crosses in, we want him in the middle, finishing the chances himself. And we also told him to press back line just to put a bit more pressure on that defence and try to win the ball back as high up the pitch as possible. As always, we played six games with him. One of the games did DC at two minutes in, so obviously it says seven on there, but we did play six games. We managed to score 12 goals and pick up one assist. That's an average of two goals a game, which really is incredible for any striker to be getting two goals a game. Absolutely massive. And for a second inform, he only cost us 45,000 coins. He does go for around 50k on each console. I did get a little bit of a deal on him, but still 50k is well worth it for this guy, 100%. Now his base stats, he has 73 pace, 78 dribbling, 88 shooting, 50 defending, 67 passing and 85 physical. On to the in-game stats now and there are some real standouts here. 92 attacking position, 87 aggression, 99 jumping and 86 strength. Absolutely brilliant stats. Skill attributes, 99 heading accuracy to go with his jumping. He also has 91 finishing and 85 shot power. He's 6 foot tall, right footed, medium medium work rates. He has freestyle skill moves and freestyle weak foot. And he has the poacher, aerial threat specialities and the power header trait. Onto the clips now and there is one reason why this guy is an absolute beast. You probably already guessed it from his stats, it's his heading. Now he literally has the best heading stats on the game, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy and the power header trait. And boy does it show in game, oh my god his heading is absolutely incredible. He gets the same amount of power with his head as other strikers get with their feet. It's incredible, I've never seen anyone head the ball as well as this guy on any FIFA. If you're a fan of crossing the ball, this guy 100% is for you. His headers are ridiculous. They are absolutely insane. Just top, top quality. And I guarantee you, unless this guy gets another inform, you will not find anyone better at heading than him. To go with his heading, he is strong as well, which means he wins all of the battles against centre-backs. The jumping and strength combined means he just outjumps and outmuscles every single defender. And it just makes him so deadly in and around that six yard box. Now the one thing you wouldn't assume that would be very good on him is his dribbling. However, he has an incredible touch for such a big man. His dribbling feels silky, smooth, he can turn really really fast and as I say his first touch is absolutely incredible and I really didn't expect it at all. I thought he was going to be really slow and sluggish being a target man but he's not at all. He is really agile and just turns past players over and over again. On top of being able to score with his head, he can also finish well with his feet. All of his shots, whether that be up close or at long range, all have power, all have accuracy and go exactly where you want them to go. And on top of that, he is a real goal poacher. As you see in this clip here, they make a mistake. He just takes the ball, runs around the goalkeeper and gets a free goal. His positioning is absolutely perfect. He is always in the right place at the right time. If the ball ever gets rebounded, he's there for the tap-in. If you have the ball down the wing and you're looking for him in the middle, he'll always be there ready and waiting for that cross. And obviously with his jumping and heading, he will be able to pull it away nearly all of the time. Now he does only have freestyle weak foot, but as you see here, it's not that big of a deal. It actually didn't feel that bad. I scored quite a few goals on his left foot. Obviously his right is going to be better, it did feel like his right footed shots had more power behind them, but his left foot definitely felt better than a 3 star. 
And like most players on this game, he knows how to play a short pass fairly well. And one of the only downfalls of this guy's card is his long passing, but you're not really going to be using it at all because he's the one who's going to be receiving the passes. Now, over the six games, he picked up an average match rating of 8.9, which is really, really solid. And he did score in every single one of the games that he played. Now, for pros, I've put his jumping and heading, as I say, the best on the game that you can find. Absolutely ridiculous. His finishing and his long shots, all of his shooting, just really, really nice to use. Positioning, absolutely perfect. And lastly, I put his strength on there because he is an absolute tank. Now for cons, I've put freestyle skills. I didn't really need them. Most of the time, when you get the ball with him, you're just going to be hitting it. So there's not really any need for skills. And his dribbling is good enough without the freestyle skills to be able to just go around players. But if you do like to use skill moves, that is one of his downfalls. And I've also put his long passing on there as it can be an issue if you ever did have to play a pass. But as I say, you don't really need to use it all that often. Overall, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. This guy was so much fun to use. Quite possibly my favourite target man striker on the game. Now, I'm not a massive fan of big strikers. I usually don't play very well with them. I prefer the more agile ones. But this guy felt agile as well. So if I'm able to use him and score two goals per game with him, then people who like to cross the ball will have an absolute field day with this guy. Now, as I said at the start, he is only 50k at the moment and he will probably continue to drop. So I 100% recommend anyone who's looking for a clinical striker just to get some goals on the board for them. Go pick this guy up. He's not only good at scoring, he is good fun to use as well. And I really, really do rate this card. As always, if you guys decide to go and pick this guy up, let me know down in the comments how he played for you. Other than that though, if you enjoyed or found this helpful in any way at all, please drop a like on the video, it helps me out so much. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more. I have another player review coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.